Hey how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make this rapidly wrap skirt so let's begin. Now the skirt has three pieces, the back, the front with two doors but it's supposed to be one but I didn't feel like changing it so I left it for what it was and the other front that goes underneath the other front if that makes sense. And the waistband of course. Now lay the pattern on the piece, use that hole to mark a dot. You can use a ruler to draw a line, but I don't do that anymore because it takes too long. Fold the dots in half, sew it down as usual. You can tie a knot at the end or backstitch the dart. Lately I've been backstitching the dart because that is quicker. It doesn't really matter, you can tie a knot, backstitch, it all comes out the same. Cutting with the rest. Now place both fronts on the back. Remember this dart doesn't exist, it's useless for the skirt. Anyway, sew so the sides together with a good size facing each other. Sew it down with a straight stitch. Again, one more time, forget about that dart, it doesn't exist, okay? So you can stop here, but I decided to add a lining at the end. So that is what I did. I did the dart already off camera. But basically I'm doing the same as the main fabric, the darts, and I'm going to sew the sides together. If you don't want a lining, you can skip this part. But if not, do the same thing. Now line up the lining and the main fabric together. Sew it down till the other end. Before that, make sure to press the seam open also on the other side. On each seam allowance, I place the pin so it's aligned all perfectly. Now trim off the excess fabric in the corners so when you flip it over the points will be looking nice and neat. I use any scissors to point out the points. If you're going to top stitch the skirt, make sure to press the seam open and then together. At last minute I changed my mind, I decided to understitch the lining. So make sure the seam allowance is facing the lining underneath. The understitching prevents the lining from rolling out. For the waistband I have 4 pieces, but it should be 3. The first one and the third one belong together. I then had enough fabric horizontally and I wanted my stripes horizontally. So I cut it in 2 pieces. And the little piece is for the front that goes underneath the other front. The second piece will be used to tie the knot. 
fold that part in half so a L shape until the other end good sides facing Once done, turn it inside out. Make sure to trim off the excess fabric, don't forget about that. So once you turn it inside out, it will look nice. I'm going to sew the two pieces together that I cut in two pieces that's supposed to be one with a straight stitch. Now place all waistband onto the skirt. I did the little piece separately and the big one also separately. For the dart make sure it's facing the opposite of each other so that the fabric doesn't build up because it's already built up because of the waistband. Then secure it with a pin. Then take it to your sewing machine. I didn't sew it all the way down. I left a small part open. I left this part open so I can add the other piece later between the two. Now sew L shape until you've reached the edge of the skirt. And of course, trim off the excess fabric. Then turn it inside out and it's gonna take a while. Now I'm going to add the other piece between the two waistbands with a straight stitch. You can also do this before you add the waistband onto the skirt, it doesn't really matter. So once that is done, make sure to open the seam, then close the gap. For the other end, close the waistband, sew the side with a straight stitch again. Once that is done, flip it over and it looks like this. Then fold the seam allowance all the way to the other end inwards. And make sure that each seam is open so that the fabric won't be too thick. Then pin it down to secure it into place. I'm going to stitch in the ditch. That means sew inside the seam. This is how it looks at the end on the outside. This is how it looks on the inside. Now you can decide to leave it like this or you can add a closure on the inside of the skirt. That is for extra safety nets because you never know the skirt may fall off. To avoid that you add the closure on the inside of the skirt. 
on this front piece you add the bottom hole right into the corner and on the inside of the waistband you're going to hand sew the bottom if you want to I wanted to do that first but I changed my mind <laughs> I didn't feel like it because I hate hand sewing so I skipped that part maybe I'm going to add velcro I'm not sure about that probably I'm gonna leave it like this anyways that's it for this tutorial I will see you next time toodaloo <laughs>